we had a general view of the Holocaust as being an event that was really a case of industrial killing where there was a great deal of distance between the perpetrators and the victims. Uh, and that it was secret and very few people knew about it. The extermination camps were hidden. Um, there was a question whether the German public ever found out about it. Did they know only after the war? When you look um, at the case of a local genocide, uh, clearly all of this is happening publicly. The killing is public. Everyone can see what is happening. So it's not secret at all. Uh, it's happening largely in situ, in the place. And um, a second thing that is very important is that there is a relationship between the perpetrators and the victims. So that before the killing begins, often uh, the perpetrators are in there. In the case of Buchach and many other towns in East Galicia, they were there for uh, at times more than a year before the killing begins. And so they actually get to know the people they kill before they kill them. They work for them as babysitters, as cooks, as doctors, and so forth. So the whole event is very intimate. So it's public and intimate rather than secret and detached. And uh, I think that gives us a very different idea of what much of the Holocaust was actually about. It was not about the extermination camps, although there are about half of the victims who were murdered, but the other half were murdered under these circumstances much more likely. A third point, which is very important, uh, I talk now about really the relationship between uh, the Jews and the Germans, the, 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 the perpetrators, those who organize the genocide and uh, carry it out in large part are the German uh, security police who arrive in those areas and start the killings after a period during which they actually get to know the people they are about to kill. Uh, but of course, in many of these towns, in fact, in most of the towns in Eastern Europe along the vast borderlands from the Baltics to the Balkans, uh, where a very large number of uh, Jews lived and were murdered, um, they lived in, in mixed towns. They lived in inter-ethnic communities. And in the case of East Galicia, uh, certainly in the case of the town that I studied, of Buchach, the other populations were Poles and Ukrainians. And so what happens is that the killing is not only a matter of the Germans arriving in a certain town and killing the Jews, it really is part of a much larger social dynamic between the various groups on the ground. And in order to understand what the dynamic was, one needs to understand how these relations were before the Germans came, how people lived side by side for a very long time, often for hundreds of years, uh, and why, when the Germans arrive, uh, much of the violence is not only that perpetrated by the Germans against the Jews, but rather communal. So you could say that there is a communal, a series of communal massacres. The Germans on the ground are very thin on the ground. Uh, in the area of Buchach, there were about 20 members of the security police. And in the city of Buchach alone, they killed 10,000 Jews. In the region for which they're responsible, they kill 60,000 Jews. And obviously, these 20 uh, police officers cannot do it on their own. So they recruit uh, locals. So it becomes much more of a communal event. That's one thing that's very important to understand. Another element that is very important <clears throat> is that we tend to talk about um, perpetrators, victims, and bystanders. And when you speak of these kind of communities, as you can understand from the social dynamic, there aren't really bystanders. Nobody is simply standing by. People are active on a certain scale. Some of them may help and rescue their neighbors. Some of them may participate in the killing. And most of them are somewhere in between. They may help some people and uh, denounce others. They may have friends, but then uh, take their property, and they may change positions from one to the other. And one last thing I would say that is also important that often is sort of missing in history of the Holocaust, in histories of the Holocaust, when they're not at the local level, is that the killing is not only of the Jews. 
so in all of East Galicia and actually also in Volhynia, um, north of Galicia, uh, once most of the Jews have been killed, uh, the, the Ukrainian policemen who were uh, helping the Germans kill the Jews uh, often desert from German police units and form their own paramilitary. Uh, in that case, it's the Ukrainian insurgent army. And they begin killing the Poles because the goal of this organization is to create a Jew and Pole free Ukraine. And so the violence continues after most of the Jews are killed. And it's part of that a general violent dynamic in that area that is triggered by the arrival of the Germans, before that the Soviets, but also has its own inner dynamic. Uh, 